Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the measurement of humidity. In the previous video, I have explained how to measure the physical parameters like force, proximity and um, displacement. In this video, another physical parameter like humidity, which is also very important, we need to calculate always like in the environment or atmosphere, what is the amount of humidity we can easily calculate with uh, some micro hygrometers and so on. Okay, all such matters we are I'm going to explain in this video. So before going into the concept how to measure the humidity, let us see what is the definition of humidity. <coughs> Humidity is the measure of water vapor present in gas or environment. It is usually measured as absolute humidity and relative humidity at a due point of temperature. Suppose whenever you are going to calculate the humidity, you can measure in three different ways actually. Absolute humidity, relative humidity and specific humidity. These are the three humidities that we can actually calculate at due point of temperature so if you are taking absolute humidity with respect of temperature you are calculating the humidity in the case of relative humidity you are calculating the humidity in the environment <coughs> with respect to the temperature what is the exact temperature with respect to the temperature you are calculating the humidity that is known as relative humidity in a particular area at a per unit volume if you are calculating the humidity with respect to temperature then that is treated as specific humidity so humidities can be calculated in different ways as relative humidity absolute humidity and specific humidity let us see one by one what do you mean by absolute humidity so it is a measure of mass of water vapor present in the air per unit volume regardless of air temperature. <clears throat> so as I told you here, absolute temperature is not focusing on the atmosphere temperature. In respect of temperature, what is the amount of mass of the water present over the atmosphere, present in the atmosphere, that humidity is going to be calculated and treated as absolute humidity the higher the amount of water vapor the higher the absolute humidity suppose if, we, if what we are doing in a particular area in a particular area you are calculating in this particular area you are calculating the uh, humidity <coughs> humidity per unit volume humidity per unit volume so we are calculating in the absolute humidity what we are doing we are calculating the humidity per unit volume with respect to temperature whatever the temperature we are not bothering about so we are calculating the humidity per unit volume suppose if you increase this area in the measure, measured area if increases then what about the humidity increases because the unit volume increases Okay, as the unit volume increases, what about the humidity also increases. So, higher the amount of water vapor, the higher the absolute humidity. For example, a maximum of about 30 grams of water vapor can exist in a cubic meter volume of air with temperature in the middle 80s. <coughs> so, coming to the second parameter, relative humidity. In the case of relative humidity, as I said earlier, here we are calculating the humidity per unit, uh, sorry, we are calculating the humidity as per the temperature, okay. Uh, with respect to temperature, whether it is at 30 degrees or 40 degrees or 50 degrees, with respect to temperature, we are calculating the humidity in the environment or atmosphere, then we can say then it is a relative humidity. So it is expressed in terms of percentage actually. So we are saying a percentage, 50 percent humidity is there, 60 percent humidity is there, like that we can calculate the relative humidity. So it is expressed as percentage it and is a measure of the amount of water vapor that air is holding compared the amount it can hold in a specific temperature. Always we are talking about a specific temperature. So there is a 50% or 80%, 50% humidity is there at 30 degrees Celsius. If this type of notation is there, indication is there, 
then we can read it as RH, nothing but relative humidity. Okay. So, warm water can possess more water vapor than cold air. <coughs> so, with the same amount of absolute or specific humidity, air will have a higher relative humidity. So, if you are, if you anybody ask you what is the water vapor present in the cold water and what is the present in the cold air and warm air. Warm air always has a lot of water vapor content. So, more amount of humidity present in the warm air compared to the cold air. Okay. So, a relative humidity of 50% means the air holds on that day a specific temperature here we are talking about specific temperature so a relative humidity of 50 percent means the air holds on that day that holds 50 percent of water needed for the air to be saturated so if you are saying 50 percent of relative humidity that means 50 percent of water needed to to be saturated to get the air to be saturated so that means once the air becomes then once the water becomes saturated the saturated air becomes 100 percent of humidity it has okay once the air becomes saturated it always has 100 percent of humidity that means completely air becomes completely water becomes vapor and in that air it is having 100 percent of humidity and the third factor is a specific humidity where Specific humidity, specifically we are talking about, so specifically we are talking about means, suppose uh, in a large area, in a large area you are asked to calculate what is the specific humidity, <laughs> what is the specific humidity, what will you do, you will calculate what is the humidity per unit volume, humidity per unit volume at a certain temperature, yet certain temperature so what do you what is the meaning of specific humidity what is the meaning of absolute humidity in the absolute humidity temperature is we are not taking care of we are calculating humidity per unit volume in the relative humidity what we are doing we are taking care of temperature we are taking the temperature also into consideration and calculating what is the humidity present over there but in the third case specific humidity we are calculating per unit volume what is the humidity per unit volume at a particular temperature so specific humidity it is refer it refers to the weight of water vapor nothing but mass of the water vapor contained in a unit weight of air so here we are talking about per unit volume or unit weight expressed as grams of water vapor per kilogram of air so absolute and specific humidity are quite similar in concept coming to the most important uh, concept here hygrometer hygrometer is nothing but it is a meter used to measure the humidity present in the atmosphere hygrometer is used to measure the humidity measured in the atmosphere in uh, quiz questions you may get this question which device among the following which device is used to measure the humidity of the environment or atmosphere that is nothing but hygrometer so it is a device used to measure the humidity or moisture content present in the atmosphere <coughs> so humidity measurement instruments usually rely on measurements of some other quantity such as temperature pressure mass or mechanical or electrical change in the substance as moisture is absorbed like in the previous cases like in the measurement of force in the measurement of displacement proximity what we have done measurement of physical parameter will affect the measure uh, will have change in the physical parameter will affect the change in any electrical parameter like resistance or capacitance or whatever inductance that gives the change in the voltage or current Previously, it is having a constant resistance. Whenever the change in the moisture or humidity changes, the particular device will vary. The same concept is going to be applied here in the hygrometer also. The resistance of a device or a capacitance of a device or inductance of the device measured in instrument will vary depending upon the changes with respect to the humidity of the atmosphere. 
by calibration and calculation these measurement the measured quantities can lead to a measure measurement of humidity so that means change with respect to the humidity can be calculated with respect to the change in the resistance or any electrical quantity so modern electronic devices use temperature of condensation the dew point or changes in electrical capacitance or resistance to measure the humidity differences so humidity can be measured in different ways as discussed here resist to hygrometer capacitor to hygrometer thermal hygrometer and a gravimetric hygrometer these are the different changes we are taking changes in the following parameters depending upon the change in the humidity so in the resist to hygrometer resistance of the device will vary capacitor to hygrometer capacitance of this measured device will vary and in the thermal hygrometer temperature of the device will vary in the gravimetric hygrometer depending upon the gravitational force of the hygrometer will vary so all these are different parameters we are focusing on to measure the moisture or humidity present over the atmosphere or in any device so in the next video i will explain about these different four concepts resistive capacitive thermal and gravimetric hygrometers Thank you.